Hello Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading, 10th to the 17th of September. Shout out to Abby, I hope that I'm saying your name right, who sent me an email, where is Sagittarius? I know, I was just about to do it, I'm like, I'm going to go and hop on and do it now. Okay, what do we need to know for my, oof, lovely Sagittarians, oh my god, you're not going to thank me now. What do we need to know? This card has come up such a lot in the dailies and in the weeklies for a lot of you. Gosh. Whoa. Okay, it's an important week for you. I can see why you wanted a reading. I've just pulled a couple of other cards as well. I'm just going to put them all down on here and then I'm just going to stare at them for a while because it's a super duper powerful okay this card seven of swords it has been following us around on the dailies for weeks hasn't it and it's been following you around a bit and I noticed that things to do with just the general somebody trying to pin you down or keep you small in some way has been featuring in your readings over the last few months and we've talked about it and we've looked at it but it still seems to be there in the ether okay now we are in retrograde season this week mercury is still retrograde until friday i know we can all breathe easy a little um, of course, there's a bit of a shadow period. It doesn't just go direct, kind of stations, and it takes a little while and thinks about it. Valentine, by the way, is in the room somewhere. So she, Valley! So she might pop up in a minute. Um, yeah, but we're on the right tracks. It's going direct, and Venus has gone direct, so that's, you know, that's not bad. But there is this energy of <sighs> retrospectiveness looking back over something, looking back over your shoulder, checking for something. And in line with that, we've got the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is a card where, as my mum would say, neither now nor summit. You are in some way not able to move forward until you know something, but you're not gonna know it until after Friday, and that's that. It may be a small thing, it may be more of a major thing, but it's, I think this week is a bit of a game changer for a lot of signs is what I'm getting. It just feels game changer, but stuck in the mud all at the same time. I know. You get the Four of Cups, which is a card about love, but again, it's love that is slightly stuck in its tracks. It's when you're unable to really connect with your romantic side and you're not quite connecting with somebody else and you've got that whole brooding sitting under a tree thing going on. Sometimes I describe this as emotional neutral. If you're going through some real difficult times, sometimes this can be the only thing you can do. You're like, well, I don't know what to do with this. I got really strong feelings about it. I'm just gonna keep it in emotional neutral. Let's have a look at the cards. I don't know where the camera is facing. Well, that's not bad. Just shove them up there a bit, as the actress said to the bishop. Okay. So then we have a couple of big hitters. We got the death card, Scorpio. So look out. This is kind of pertaining to the 28th of October, the, we've got an eclipse, which is like, oh, it's weeks away, at, it's not that long actually. It's kind of six weeks away, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it really isn't very long, is it? It's something that's going on this week is something to do with this. Change, massive expansion, going in a different direction, the old order dying off and the new order coming in. You're not going to know what this looks like until you look back on this year and think, oh, that's when that changed. We have a full moon lunar eclipse. It's a partial lunar eclipse in Taurus on the 28th of October. It's the opposite sign of Scorpio, 
but it's smack bang in the middle of Scorpio season. So it's, it's something big because it's kind of starting now and going right the way over to then. And then when you have that eclipse on the 28th, that's about six months worth of energy and it's giving me an itchy ear. All of those things are signs that spiritual big jobs are in play. You've got the Ace of Pent, oh God, wrong camera, Ace of Pentacles, which is a very nice card to get. That's come up loads for loads of people as well. And it comes up when you need to be financially aware. Also, if you're thinking of starting a business or a new job or anything with finances, there's a big change in what you do now and a big change that's very positive for the future. So get involved with that. But while we're in the retrograde cycle until, you know, there's other planets in retrograde, but until Mercury goes forwards, we've got Venus going direct, so that's good. Revise some of your numbers on whatever it is you're looking at financially. You don't have to make big moves yet, but just revise the numbers. Four of Pentacles, that is another financial card. Sun in Capricorn, very nice. It's what I call money in the bank. I mean, literally, this guy's like, I'm putting him in my treasure chest, and that's it. It's what you invest in. Investment is very important to you. And this week, there is the seed of what you're going to invest in. It's kind of echoed for the rest of the year. We have the page of wands, that's nice. So Saji, as the week goes on, as we get closer to the new moon, you get a bit more energy and a bit more fire in your belly and you get to be a little bit more of yourself, which I really like. Oh yes. It's very important around the time, God, everybody's had that card too, around the time of the new moon, oh, they haven't had that one, that you do ask the universe for what you want, that you do send out the message to the universe that you're ready to receive it, okay? So around the time of the 15th, or have a look when that new moon is gonna come, depending on where you are around the world, the timings will be different. The night before or the night of that new moon, or just any time around then, in that 24 to 48 hours time, just make sure you've got your rituals and your practices Whichever one feels more comfortable to you, put it out there with the star because this is like um, manifestation and standing in the source and putting it out to the universe and wishing upon a star. Put it out to the universe, however ridiculous you might think it is. It's not ridiculous to the universe, okay? It just isn't. It just sometimes feels ridiculous to us humans, but to the universe, they're like, sure, you can have that. Six of Cups, again, you may be thinking about somebody, you may be longing for something or somebody. Don't make any big moves. If that's a romantic feeling, see how you feel after Friday, okay? So tape up your thumbs and don't let them go texting. Observe, observe until the weekend. And then the Emperor, divine masculine energy, very nice, with that Ace of Pentacles, that could also be um, somebody at work favoring you, somebody initiating with you. It's very decent energy. It's kind of Aries energy, which I like. It's very active energy. You will also be feeling a lot more like you're in control. Let's have a couple of love cards for you. God, everyone's had that one as well. So we have... Hang on. We have the garden and we have inner peace. With the garden, it's like you don't just plant the seeds and go, why is it not growing yet? Why is it not growing yet? You need to observe. You've already planted the seeds. Plant some more around the time of the new moon. Then lie back in the garden. Get some inner peace. Read a book. Do whatever feels good to you. And observe the results until after Friday when we can start all over again. Thank you, Sagittarius. 
do check out your monthly reading. It's in the description box below and I'll see you soon. Namaste.